Hello everybody, welcome to an extremely fantastic and thrilling match, I'm sure. Ignore what Nelissius said. Um, <laughs> so we've got Fighter with Skaven with a triangle logo versus Sick as Eggs with Skaven with a triangle logo. So got really no idea which is which. They've both got natties. It's going to be a mess. So it looks like Fighter is the pink one. Yep, yeah, looks like this is Fighter's Drive, the pink team. He's got a strength one, got to run here. Uh, and a natty, a lovely natty there. Movement 10, edge 5. Um, sprint, no sure feet, but two heads. So kind of like edge 6, unbelievable. Uh, claw Pommer with tackle. Lovely for hitting gutter runners or skaven linemen, depending on which you prefer to uh, use your best player to hit and attempt to kill people with. We've just gone for the executive decision of nailing a lineman here. Um, <laughs> no offence, fighter. Um, <laughs> not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad. And uh, then we've got Thick of Eggs, who has uh, some... Wrestle Gutters, he's got his Natty on the bench, which is movement 10, sidestep, sprint, and a pom Claw Pummer without tackle. And the other the other Storm Vermin, strength 4 and tackle, so I'd advantage definitely to Fighter here in teams. Uh, Sick as Eggs does have a bribe. And Reserve, so has some things going for him. Not a lot though, have you seen Sick as Eggs? <laughs> It's just a joke. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm mean. I don't know why I decided to be so mean to Sick as Eggs. He's a lovely fella and a great football player. Um. <laughs> there you go. I like, I like that, actually, going for the fouls there. Obviously, we'd never win SFL, no. Only only Australians and Bostonians can win SFL. Pretty much. I got a really bad cough, I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to have the Claw Pom hit on the Storm Vermin around the houses now. Doesn't push to protect his Storm... Oh, it's because he wanted the assist to hit him again. Mm. Is that worth it? Probably not. Sure doesn't look like it because, not, yeah, this was, this was crap, wasn't it? This was crap. But fighter was quite crap. Now, not no offence to Fighter. I'm sure he's a lovely person. And he's probably more experienced than I am with Skaven. But that was shit. <laughs> and not to devalue anybody's ability at Blood Bowl because, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure some people care about being dis their blood ball skill being disparaged for some reason, but literally anybody can get a 70% win rate with Skaven because they're fucking insanely overpowered, especially versus terrible players. So there you go. So that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> I hate Skaven. <laughs> Yep, it turns out movement nine, and four. Imagine you being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on a holiday, and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hilariously, I can't either. My my win rate's terrible. My my win rate's absolutely awful with Skaven, but I just hate them and concede at the first time sign of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really tried to do well with them. I've just been like, oh god, I hate I hate this. What am I doing playing Skaven and just conceding and scrap the team? 
in general. Uh, he did new dad, yeah. Surprisingly enough. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sorry, Paravale. Um I'll t just ima imagine a virtual head tap and say, well done, you're the best around. Um, the rest of Rebel thinks you're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you go. <laughs> uh, obviously, instant apple there from Sick as Eggs. Thick of Eggs. And this, like, this is very early to have a, a full YouTube cage here. We should see a lot of pressure from Sick here, and may well see an early touchdown. <coughs> Remember when Jim Mad Chalice? Oh. The last time I made Chalice, I got, I got wrecked by PC in the first round. <laughs> yeah, some people are too critical of themselves, aren't they? Like Elliot and stuff. Like, it's not helpful. I try to be honest and. Uh, now, obviously, you've also got to, like, make good assessments. You've also got to make good assessments, right? Like, so some people, I think, are deluded. But then other people, I just think, don't make good assessments as well, you know? Like, so that's an element of being good, isn't it? Is knowing when you're ahead or behind and stuff and things. And I think... I think probably Elliot is better at assessing things than you would believe from how he talks about himself. In real life and just I just think he's overly harsh on himself. Life. But if if you are too harsh on yourself, then like maybe you're just like you know in general, you the viewer of this YouTube video <laughs> or stream, then it might be that you're, you're bad at making assessments of of how good your own players and stuff. Or you might just be lying to yourself and. Being a dickhead, basically saying, "Oh, I'm rubbish," when you're not actually rubbish, which is no good to anyone, is it? But I think you know, like for the people, for the pros like Dio and that with the poker and that, you've got to like, you've got to be honest, haven't you? There's no point being like false modesty and stuff. There's no place for that. You've got to. Uh... But, uh... Tink what you tink. <laughs> Probably should have gone in harder this turn. I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. I guess he doesn't have to go suicidal yet. Or suicidal. <laughs> because it's scaven, you see. Hilarious joke. And there you go. The thing that he does do there is gets banged out for. So, you know, maybe he shouldn't have done that. Hard to say, but nah, it goes in anyway. Yeah, maybe, maybe Steve, maybe I am. I think I well, I know I am because I. The thing is, I hold myself the standard that I should play to if I was concentrating on the match. When I'm not concentrating on the match, that's the thing, right? Whereas, like in games like Blitz Pit. And Chalice, I actually concentrate on the match. And I don't make mistakes in those games, generally. Like, obviously, everyone's human, right? I still make the odd mistake. Like, nobody on Earth doesn't make mistakes. Even Magnus Carlsen makes mistakes, doesn't he? But I think my level in Chalice is noticeably, and Blitz Pit is noticeably higher than when I'm just streaming and talking shit for the entire match. Yeah, that was funny, wasn't it, the gaping hole? I might have already been on comms when I did the gaping hole, honestly. So, that might be the perfect example, Tom. Because maybe if I was still focusing at that point, I wouldn't have done it, would I? <laughs> because I wasn't focusing, I did do it. There you go. Thank you, Steve. So there you go. Perfect example. Thanks, Tom. You thought you were being a smart ass. <laughs> because they're gaping holes from Chalice. But you proved my point. 
<laughs> Jokes on you <laughs> that I didn't defend a one turn at all. <laughs> well, so now, like, six got the chance to just two one grind, hasn't he? Here, he can score on turn sixteen. Um, probably. They're pretty even teams. It's, uh, he's 11 to 10 up. And if you can score on turn back on turn 8, make it 1 1, then he can uh, stall for the whole half, make it 2 1. Hope the Natty doesn't score back. <laughs> That's the Natty. Hope he can cast the Natty. So, like, now most of the game is about killing this Natty, isn't it? For, for thick of the egg. Trying to deal with this claw bomber so he doesn't slot your whole team. And try to deal with a natty so it doesn't win the game. Two players on setup. Well, not setup, two players at any time. It is two players on setup in the real rules, but on Blood Bowl 2, it's two players at any time. Because like, you can't make a legal setup is the idea. And if you can't set up at all, then you uh, concede a touchdown. No, oh, I've legal conceded loads of times. <laughs> I've been banged out so many times in football too. Never on fumble, probably. Yeah, you, but you know what I mean. Like, people say legal concede, meaning meaning concede without penalty. But concede without penalty is too long when you can say legal concede and everybody knows what you mean. Except Rick Baseman, apparently. The awkward git. <laughs> This shape here, but it doesn't really matter, does it? At the end of the day, he's scared. He can do whatever the hell he wants. He's, <laughs> he's two players into his opponent's half of the pitch. <laughs> he can do literally anything. There's a bit of space here, isn't there? There's a bit of an overcommit for you. He hasn't got many players to commit, but what he has, it's a huge overcommit. But then what, how do you defend against Skaven anyway, right? They're so fast, it's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can get all the way over there. Absolutely insane. Oof. Really hard to stop now because they can 
can even go back. Yeah. Rat. The rat bastard. It's so funny that this guy on, on Reddit has got like minus 40. Minus 40 karma for almost just telling the truth. Why not sidestep here? Oh, because of the strip. Hmm. Which one was better? Maybe back there because of the gutters. Was the leap necessary? Did he burn at dodge? It's like he's had six. Ah, oh, well, there's this tackle there. Okay. Nice tackle. So that was, that was correct. Correct. Oh, the strip didn't really do a whole lot, did it? Stick first is pretty good, isn't it? When it's on a gut runner with Pom. Can't argue with that. No GFI required. <laughs> Just straight in. <laughs> Disgustous. Disgustous. This is a disgusting uh, Skaven kit, by the way, isn't it? We've seen this before. Absolutely terrible Skaven kit. Wait, I'm bamboozled. Why is six setting up on defence? In the second half. No, wait. Which one? No, that isn't sick. This is sick. Oh my god. It, it's so confusing. Six. six. This is sick. This is sick. The, the, this horrible kit is sick. The horrible kit is sick. Absolutely bamboozled myself there. Sick pick the shit kit. The shit kit. I don't feel so bad about being randomly overly mean to him now. <laughs> Sick as eggs, shit ass kit. Very good. Yes, Bezel, yeah, yeah. And they're not limited by level at all, so people will just like, it's gonna be so stupid, isn't it? At least like, if they limited the customization by level, then at least people would only be like customizing their level, you know, the level four gutters, right? You know, like if you, if you saw like a gut run with a crazy hat and stuff, then you'd be like, oh, that must be the movement one. But instead, it's going to be not like that. So sick just has to go after the uh, after the nap now. No. That was a good foul. Bribe is gone. Apple's gone. 
Fight is down loads of players. Sick is down nobody. The strip's coming in again. And that was pretty bad by Sick to not have guard near the ball because he knew that uh, he knew that Fight was cage diving all the time from the first half. So no, it really should have been a. Uh, a vengeable there, I think. But it, I guess it's worked out great because it's tempted in the, the strip. And going to get a big foul. Guard in the wrong place again here from Sick. The guard has to be here or here is the entire point. Because this doesn't have to be a guard because he's in the middle. Oh, killed him. Well, wait, fight, it doesn't app all that. Is he tilted? Is he tilted and thinks he's already lost? Why the hell would you not app all that? That is a literal insanity non apple. Terrible. Well, I guess he's filled this in anyway, so it didn't matter. They didn't have guard there. So because, he, because he's filled that in completely. Guard there is fine actually. A strength four tackle. You can't out you can't save your apple for the one turn. You can't. Like you need players to be able to get the, to them in that anyway as well, don't you? Oh, well. The strip work. He's rolled a million twos, and he's got the ball. Fantastic, classic Skaven play there. Brilliant. Fun and active. And people insult dwarves. I've just been so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday, and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I agree, Tom. Though if you said that on Reddit, you'd probably get about minus 50 karma. <laughs> I don't know who Six Blitzing with, to be honest. Maybe this wrestle strip, but then I don't understand the two assists rather than three. So, yeah, that was a bit odd, wasn't it? This can go good. Yeah, this was always going to be the blitz, up, but but it was strange to it was strange to assist with two when you only need one assist, wasn't it? So the two assists looked like he was going to get a third assist in. Go 3D, but then do you need 3D when you've got strip? Probably not. Well, that saves him for a turn. I mean, six certainly was. <laughs> oh, huge cars. Only badly hurt. <laughs> and then removes himself as well. <laughs> there isn't a dirty player to foul this guy, but you still got to foul him. You just have to. And there's only three Skaven players left. Apart from him. So there's a good argument for just caging Nesto and, and keeping the whole team here and fouling with the whole team. I'm not sure I like this from Sick. Uh, 
And how many assists is the foul? Just two assist foul? Sidestep. So stay, does should have stayed in contact. Should have hundred percent stayed in contact to stop two to like to stop this assist. That was wild. That was wild to not stay in contact to stop the two assist foul. And it's KO'd. Will he app or this? But then if he apples this, the problem is it still stuns, so it's getting fouled next turn as well. So that is what it so he was keeping the apple for the for the for the one turn. Which I don't know man. Like a dead strength four tackler. Where the best thing you can do is get overtime. I think it's a bad decision, but I think he's made a multitude of bad decisions. But he's just been leaping in every single turn, hasn't he, to try and sack the ball. Which has got pretty good odds of success. Because uh, that's how dice and Skaven work. <laughs> yep. Well, let's not speak too soon, Tom Chinese. It takes a lot to to get the title away from Skurometso. Skurometso is going to have a great shot of winning SFL this season. He's got at least one team in the final. <laughs> He's got at least one team in the final. <laughs> yeah, it was a good run up here. Yeah. Wasn't expert, but didn't cast him, did he? Only KO'd him. This should have been here. Let's see if he didn't get as easy a thing out of it. It should have been four, all four corners, in fact, should have been the formations. This is a bad foul. You can't give him a two plus out after you're fouling, can you? <laughs> well, Paraville, without being mean, it could be, uh, it could be Chalice Nerves. I've got no idea what his record. I've got no idea what his record was. And this could be Chalice Nerves, couldn't it? And uh, playing like this with rats is good on the ladder. Like it's good enough on the ladder. You can play rats however you want. You know, because if, if anybody fills any dice against rats, they're movement 9 and nudge 4 and then pick up the ball and score. Well, if his, if his record overall is bad, then I'll give you the answer of because the admins basically pick people who qualified at random. <laughs> That's why. There's no Kislev team. There's no Ogre team. Half of the people who qualified didn't get tickets. None of them got reminders yeah! to take their tickets. It was an absolute, complete shambles, the organisation for this chalice. So there you go. No offence. <laughs> hey, gets the cars. Nice app, all made. Yep. Yep. Game of vision, yep. And you know, like at the end of the day, it's funny, isn't it? Because... <laughs> it's funny because the way... The way... Admins work is, and like volunteers of anything is while it's super nice for them to do it, and you are like getting something for nothing, aren't you? Like, you know, like, you know, Garyan doesn't need to do anything, does he? But once people do things, you do kind of want them to do it properly, don't you? <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, it's been. It was, it was a bit of a shambles, but you know who cares? If you care that much, you can do it yourself, can't you? Ultimately, <laughs> like ultimately, if you care that much about what the admins do, you can just do it yourself. I don't really care. <laughs> but I did offer to be an admin. So there you go.
<laughs> Chalice did get nollied, yeah, or whoever. No need to be mean to Nolly. It just just wasn't that much. Got cyanided. Maybe he should have thought. Maybe Sick should have thought about where he's going to size up and like made a, rather than like this guy who was really doing a lot. Like maybe he should have thought about. I'll sidestep here when I lose the ball, and then to like put another player here and another player here to make the sidestep square better and stuff. Well, that's pretty good defense from uh, from Fighter. They, I mean, this is why he's done it. This is how he's qualified, because you can roll some dice with Skaven and it will probably work. Shouldn't he have uh, knocked him forward there? He could have chained him forward one. Chained his, uh, could have chained this guy for closer. I know he's moved 10, so he can get it anyway, probably. But I'd like to have chained him one closer. He's probably got to eat that. Oh, wow, he doesn't eat it. <laughs> well, yeah. I think Sick had to think about, like... Either this guy should have come in the front or whatever. I, well, I think you've got to think of, he's, be, he's been leaping in and trying to strip me every single turn. So think about after he strips you, where do you fall? And then like create like the kind of cage to go into. Uh, and, and that's like, that's like um, getting the natty score, isn't it? The Skaven with the triangle have won the toss, and it is sick as eggs. Okay. So now it's five Skaven to defend with. That might not be enough for Fighter. But it was enough to stop the score, wasn't it? Imagine being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on a holiday, and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. Why indeed. I don't I don't like rats, personally. Nothing against people that do. Unlike unlike Norse. <laughs> well there's lots of things against people who like Norse. No, only joking. Just a joke there for you. Before you before you try to cancel me. <laughs> oh dear. Apology, there you go. Thanks, Paravail. That, po that apology was hilarious, wasn't it? He always struck me as a C nut, the, uh, the guy who said it. Can't remember his name. Both down. Yeah, I knew he'd do it, even though obviously the. <laughs> the gutter's never gonna not use wrestle, is it? <laughs> but I guess he could have misclicked. <laughs> I guess he could have misclicked and not used wrestle. I think it's better just to push him back than to, you know, trade the movement nine guy being on the ground for your move seven on the ground. Very aggressive. The dream for sick, so now he gets to cage round him and stomp him. Or maybe hand off to him and, and run away. I think it's more dice, but it's it's then guaranteed, isn't it? A real good chance. I mean, he's not doing it now. I, know, I can just block this one. Like, you can get away guaranteed if you just hand it off in a 2 plus. So, I guess you probably do do that. 
De do do, don't de do. Oh man, he was a one. Dice it. I guess he should have been one square back. So then he could have been one square back and he could have been one square back. So he'd have had a full screen. Not that it really matters, maybe it doesn't matter at all. It'll look nicer, wouldn't it? Oh, and actually, you can't you can't be one back because you want to be out of range of this guy. That's the most important thing. So yeah, you have to be there to be out of range of this guy. <laughs> And then thick of eggs. Doesn't do anything else except get the tuddy. Congrats to him. SFL finalist, sick as eggs. What an achievement. How he can add getting to the second round of Chalice to his, his long list of Blood Bowl achievements. <laughs> um, Commiserations, Fighterman, well, well done for qualifying and don't watch the VOD. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.